Well, um, a lot of it depends on the customer, you know, what exactly they want. So I sit down with them and they tell me exactly what they want and what it's for. Um, this one was a birthday gift for my husband. Um, he had a bird dog, her name was Abby. So I surprised him um, and painted this one, but directly from the dog she was, when she was alive. So that was, that was a treat for me because I can get, she had a different color eye, um, eyes than normal Weimaraners. Hers were more golden than some of the ones that are. Um, so I had taken some pictures. So I worked from a lot of photographs, but since I had her 24 seven, um, her and I gained a little weight while we were working on it, but um, she would work for treats. Um, but I could get every little imperfection and I try to get the eyes really close because like in humans, our personality shows a lot in our eyes. This is Kino. Kino was done um, for a lady. Um, she was giving it as a Christmas gift. This is actually a copy. Um, she was giving it as a Christmas gift and said, Diane, we got to work, you know, kind of quiet on this one. Kino um, was getting older and she knew that her boyfriend um, loved Kino and they took Kino to the river all the time. Well, they didn't have really good pictures of Kino in the river. So I worked with many, which a lot of times that's the case. Um, people that want pictures of dogs, either, either they've passed or they're too old to reenact some of the things that they want to show. Kino's favorite place was playing in the river. So that's where they hung out with his master. And um, he always would be flipping his tail and all excited. And you know, that was his thing, getting in the river. So um, she sent me a ton of pictures and um, I pieced them all together. I drew it out. I usually put the background in um, just quickly, just the colors so I can get a feel for it. Mm -hmm. And then I start working on the, the center and then I go back out and I'll put all the details in. Um, the work really depends on um, really good pictures and like I said I work with many so I'll bounce back and forth between some of them to maybe get what the eyes look like what the teeth look like and the tongue because not everybody's got a perfect shot to give me mm -hmm. so the lighting has a lot to do with it um, it's just all personal taste for each one. Um, a lot of animals like Kino, they start to age and then the owner's thinking, oh man, I wish I'd have gotten a better picture or a painting when it he was younger or whatever. Like some of these here, um, this was another Weimaraner and you can see that she's much different than Abby. Um, a little bit different colored coat, but these people also decided we need to get something while she was younger. So I sit with them for a long period of time, the owners, and get the details that they like. Oh, I just love the sparkle in her eyes. Okay, that's a, that's a big deal. Because if I don't put the sparkle in her eyes, it's not gonna look like her. Um, this dog um, was getting ready to, um, she had a lot of problems, um, cancer. Um, but this owner wanted her pretty much the way she looked. She was starting to get gray, but I left a lot of the gray out at this point. Um, but this is what she looked like when she was a puppy. So a lot of people have different, different likes and, and they just love their animals just like we do our kids. So it's important for me to get every little detail in there that they see. So that's always my goal, and when I get it, then I'm happy. <laughs>